Ooh. So you guys want to learn how to catch the most number of Pokemon in the shortest time possible? Well, I'm going to show you guys how and explain how this works. So hi, hi to all of you guys. So let's go ahead to bring my screen up over here. So traditionally, most people will catch Pokemon like this. Okay, we're going to tap on the Pokemon. We're going to wait for it to spawn. And it takes three seconds for the ball to appear. All right, if we watch that again, if we go to tap on the Wurmple. All right, it takes three seconds for the ball to appear. So most people would then, you know, throw the ball, either straight ball or curve ball. So let's do a curve ball. And then wait for the ball to shake three times. All right, one, two, three, click. And then you press, okay, the OK button. And then you press tick. And then that's 20 seconds to catch one Pokemon. But of course, you know, there are quicker methods to actually catch Pokemon, which I'll showcase to you guys at the middle part of the video. So let's go ahead step by step to slowly increase all right, our efficiency. So first thing we need to do though, we go have to go to our settings, all right? And we have to make sure that Niantic AR is off, okay? If this is turned on, well, uh, I don't think it's possible to use this um, method, okay? So, when Niantic AR is turned off, okay, and we tap on a Pokemon, let's say we tap on this Skitty over here right now. Okay, now it is turned off, right? And we were to, to, to go AR mode. Okay, so now you guys can see my setup and whatsoever. Yes, you guys can see the Skitty over there. Okay, we're going to run away from the Skitty and we're going to tap on another Pokemon. Okay, we're going to tap on that Paras over there. You guys can see the ball immediately appears for us to throw. Okay, we can just tap on it again. Immediately the ball appears, we can throw the ball already. Of course, you know, we threw that too quickly. So you guys can see that I can immediately throw the ball already. I don't have to wait for that 3 seconds. So if we were to account for that, that's a total of 17 seconds. Okay, let's do it again on this... Uh, Wilmer, okay, just throw the ball immediately. See, we don't have to wait for the ball to, I mean, to zoom out of the Pokemon. That three seconds zoom out time to be wasted. Okay, so that's 17 seconds. But that's not quick enough. Okay, there's this method called quick catch. Okay, which we will have to do it like this. Let's say we do it without the AR. Now we were to do the regular quick catch. Okay, we were to tap on the Wurmple now. And it goes like this. I'm going to slowly explain it first before we slowly step it up. Okay, you can either hold the berry button with one of your finger. Okay, hold the berry button here or the ball icon. Okay, and you have to use another finger to throw the ball. So let's say I'm using my left thumb to hold down the berry icon. And then I'm going to use um, my right pinky to throw the ball. So once I've thrown the ball, I'll slide the icon to the middle. Imagine it's still there. Let go and then tap the top left twice. Okay, you guys can see that the Wurmple 286 CP was caught. Okay, so if we were to do it much quicker, okay, like this. If we were to do it much quicker, say like this, okay. That's roughly 6 seconds for me to catch that Gaupin. Okay, let's do it to this Paras now. Since it's pretty high in CP, we're going to use an Ultra Ball, okay. Yep, it will be caught. But that's still not fast enough. How to make it faster is we need to, instead of circling around to do the curve throw, okay, most people will do curve throw like this, all right? But instead of doing it like this, you just draw a letter C. You guys can see that. I just draw a letter C like how, you know, you would draw like a tick, like a Nike tick, you know? Just do it. Just do it. Just draw a letter C. So if we were to combine, all right, the fast catch that I've just shown to you guys, the one that we just uh, run away from the Pokemon, okay? Say we were to combine that, like right now I'm holding down the berry icon and draw a letter C, run away from it. You see, it's slightly faster. That's roughly around five seconds, okay? Including the three seconds time to zoom out from the Spearow. Okay, of course it wasn't caught. Let's do it again. Okay, I'm going to combine everything together right now. Okay, nice. You guys see, saw that I didn't even spin the ball at all. Okay, and the Spearow was caught. But that's not fast enough. Like I told you guys, if we were to use the AR, plus the fast catch, plus the C trick, 
sea throw. I call it the sea throw, all right, because it's like a faster way of curve throwing. Okay, it is curve throw. Just let you guys know. If you guys want me to prove to you guys, I can show to you guys that it is curve throw. Okay, okay. See ya. Yeah? Okay, I'm just gonna do it like that. I did not even spin the ball at all. Yeah. Let's see the rewards. Okay, from this uh, pip plug. Once I've caught it, just in case you guys don't believe me that it is indeed curve throw. All right. So we can see over there, Pokemon caught, great throw, curve ball, and first throw. It is a curve throw. Okay, it is a curve ball throw. I just draw a letter C, like I said, and that's the fastest way to throw the ball. Okay, so like I say, if we were to combine fast tr fast catching plus the C throw plus the everything together, okay, and using the AR, okay, minusing that three seconds. You see, we still have we still have to zoom into the ratata, like zoom in, zoom out. Sorry, from the ratata, that's three seconds wasted. So if we were to combine everything together, okay? So if we were to combine everything together, yep, and that was done. Ratata caught. How fast was that? Probably around three or four seconds. Okay, so it takes a bit of practice. And also when you do this, right, you cannot, you cannot um, have your device like placed like, like horizontally down. Okay, what I mean by that is th this is what will happen if we were to do it because we are going to use the AR to catch, right? This is what will happen. We, okay, we have to wait for a spawn to come up. Hello! Hurry up! I could use my stack though, but uh, yep, we have an Electabuzz. So this is what will happen if we were to do it like horizontal, okay? Yep, where is the Electabuzz? We have to do it like almost vertical. Okay, then we can see. And another thing though, if you're in a moving vehicle, say for example, if you're on a bus and you were to do that, well, the Pokemon will will not move with you, okay? The Pokemon will not move with you like how you guys are seeing over here. If, for example, you are stationary over here and then you start to move, the, the thing start to move, all right? The Pokemon will still be there. So, like I said, you have to do it like this, almost 40, almost um, 70 degrees, okay? So, like I said, if we were to combine everything together, it'd be just like that. Let us see it can be done. And the Wumpo is caught. Was that too fast for you guys? Okay, let's do it again. Let's do it to this go pin. Okay, let's look. Okay, let's do it to this uh, execute. Oops, we dropped the boys. Okay, we can always uh, shift the angle. You see, we can always shift the angle. We can put the camera up like this. Okay, that was a slower way of catching. How about let's doing it? Let's do it a little bit faster to this go. Oops, that go pin is gone. Okay, let's do it to this elector bus. It wasn't caught, right? Okay, let's do it again then. Okay, done. Finish. Accuracy would definitely reduce, but. You know, it gets the job done, especially like during events such as Calm Day, Safari Zone, etc. Okay, Brenda, stop talking, throw the ball and shut up. Okay, good, we got it, we got the purloin. Finish! Fun, fun, right? It's so fast! It's crazy! But yes, you can actually catch around 15 Pokemon per minute, or should I say even up to 200 Pokemon in 10 minutes, or 900 Pokemon in an hour if you actually do this method and practice well enough. I'm gonna show you guys once more, okay, to this worm ball over here. Okay, I missed the ball, but it's okay. Let's restart that again. I missed the throw, but just for the sake of me showing you guys, let's do it again once more. Okay, done. Worm ball is caught. That's how fast this method can be, especially if you are at a cluster spawn with like 10, 15 to 20 spawns. Just do this, okay? But it will get tiring, but if you guys are pressing for time, especially like spotlight hour, etc., It'd be great to use this method. Okay, we're gonna shiny check this Pikachu. It's not shiny. Okay, we're gonna just catch it and run away from it. Okay, done. That's how fast this method is. It's insane. Okay, so hopefully you guys have gotten a better understanding of it. Just to summarize everything. Okay, in order to reduce from the usual traditional of 20 seconds catching one Pokemon all the way down to just 3 to 4 seconds. Well, you have to combine the AR. You have to combine the fast catch. You have to combine even um, yep, everything that I just showed you guys. Okay. So hopefully you guys have found this video a bit insightful and you know helpful to you guys to catch as many Pokemon as you guys can in the shortest amount of time, especially during events like what I just said. If you guys enjoyed this video and want more of such tutorials for, from me, let me know in the comment section down below. And also to leave a like as it will be much appreciated and it will help 
the algorithm to get my videos out there for more people to learn about this method. Otherwise, you guys can also always share my videos out to your friends. All right. So with that said, I'd like to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode in the next video. All right. Goodbye. Goodbye. And good luck uh, to catch more Pokemon. Let's go. Bye.